thank you for listening to BizPod with me, Paul. And me, Rachel. Our weekly business English podcast where we talk about the news, social media, and hot topics from a business point of view. You'll get a podcast and links to the articles we discuss. This way you can share your thoughts too. Join us as we discuss what's on our minds this week. Paul, we're going to talk about productivity. That just sounds like a made up word. Um, well, it's made up something. It's about <laughs> made up productivity, productivity, how to be a workplace slacker and get away with it. Okay. Are you any good at slacking on the job? I perfect it. <laughs> <laughs> so do you. <laughs> what we're doing now is productivity, isn't it? This, yes. this podcast is not really productivity, it's just busy looking work. Yes, it's yeah. having conversations and thinking we're doing something meaningful. Yeah. Know. Of course, but we but we are doing something meaningful. Yeah, we're just we're having providing... fun at the same yeah, time. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Okay. All right. But you did choose quite an interesting article, which um, we, we mentioned just before we started recording, that it kind of looks like the person who wrote the article is having a discussion with an AI bot, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, the actual article yeah. is written almost as if it's a question-answer, like name, productivity, age, decades old. Yeah. And then it's it says, fine, I'll Google it. What does it say? And it's sort of like a little two-way conversation going on. Yeah. Exactly like language learners could have a conversation with AI. Yeah, and that's what makes this article interesting because it, it does show language learners how they can use AI to have a conversation. Yeah. And whether it's written or whether it's actually spoken, mm -hmm. you do it both ways. Yeah. Um, you could just say, let's have a conversation about... Yeah. Fill the gap, yeah, whatever yeah, you want. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So but, if you were having a conversation with AI, what conversation would you have? Um Oh, that's a good question. Would you talk about productivity? No, I'd probably talk about food, I think. Food? With an yeah. artificial intelligence. I mean, yeah. would you not ask it something about technology? No, I think, you know, pizza. Let's talk about pizza. Okay. I talk about pizza. Yeah. Right, I want to see you have a conversation with ChatGPT this afternoon about pizza, and I want to see what it comes up with. Okay, I'll, I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> It'd probably give you the history and where you can get the best pizza. And... We know where you get the best pizzas. What's uh, it called? What's that restaurant called? What the one we go to? Yeah, Giatoni's. Giatoni's. Giatoni's yeah. is the best pizza. Best pizzas. Yeah, okay. Not just great pizzas, but the, the best, best pizzas. pizzas. Yeah. Little plug. Maybe we should get some uh, sponsorship from, from Giatoni's. Giatoni's. Yeah. <laughs> could probably pay us in pizza. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd be happy with that. Yeah, I would. Okay. But anyway, what about productivity? Do yeah. you fake being busy? Well, I don't, but I, I, I'm pretty sure there are people out there who do. Mm. It was a long time ago. I don't know where this originally came from, but I'm sure you've heard of this as well. Um, if you're ever going anywhere in your office, mm -hmm. carry a file mm. with you or mm. carry some paperwork with you mm -hmm. so that you look important. Mm -hmm. No matter where you're going, make sure you're carrying something yep. that looks official yep. so that you look important, you look busy. Well, that's the rule anyway. When I worked at McDonald's, yeah. we used to have a back stairway that went from downstairs to upstairs. It was a two-floor McDonald's. Okay. And I used to sit in the middle of the stairs with a broom. So if anybody opened the top stair, it'd look as if I was sweeping down. And if anybody opened the bottom stair... Looks like you're sweeping up. <laughs> so, And I used to sit there for hours. Wow. What did you do, though, while you were there for hours? Sometimes I had a book. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Listen to music maybe Just on your chilling headphones. Chilling out, yeah. Okay. There you go. But that was many, many, many years ago. That's when you were a te that's yeah. when you were a lazy teenager. Just sit halfway up the stairs with a broom. With a broom. Yeah, you got to you got to be carrying something. You got to look like yeah. so if anybody turns up, yeah. You've got it's got to look like, like you're doing, doing something. something. Yeah. Yeah. But I suppose with productivity, what this article is really talking about is people doing things to look busy rather than actually doing work. Yeah, I mean, it talks about this person saying, oh, I'm sorry, I've got 16 Zoom calls to schedule, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, but they're not actually doing anything. Yeah. But for me, I mean, you only live once. To pretend to be busy is a waste of your life. Yeah. I mean, yeah, when I was 19 at McDonald's, that's, that's one thing. But, I mean, nowadays, I'd be like, no, go and get a better job. I mean, we all joke about it, about pretending to be busy. 
But in reality, I think it would make me cry because I'd yeah. be like, you know, you've only got so much time. Yeah, Let's it'd do be depressing, worthwhile. wouldn't it? It would be depressing. Depressing, yeah. yeah. But nearly half of all managers worry that their employees are faking their workload. Yeah. They're faking their productivity all the time. Yeah. Um, which, you know, it, it sort of goes together with the idea of um, the presenteeism, mm-hmm. which we spoke about not last week, the week before, before I think. Yeah. Um, where companies like Amazon mm-hmm. and various other organizations are stopping the flexible working, working from home routine yeah. and demanding everyone come back to the office. And I think that's so that you, they can control you, but they can sort of, you know, hopefully stop you doing fake work, yeah. busy things that are not really important or relevant to what you actually do. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Yeah, I totally agree with you. It's all about control, isn't it? It says here, what's the solution? Yeah, it would be nice if employers actually focused on results rather than micromanaging. If you can trust me to get through my workload on time, you can trust me to spend the rest of my day how I see fit. Yeah. If only. If only. I think there are some companies like that, but I I think the companies um, like that, let's say Google, for example, Mm -hmm. You know, if you work for Google, you know, you don't work at an office, you work at a campus Mm -hmm. for Google, Mm -hmm. you know. um, I I think it was Google or was it Facebook who said, look, the idea is we don't want you to leave. We don't want you to go home. So they provide literally everything you need so you don't have to leave the campus, including places for you to to, to sleep, cafes for you to eat in. But Um, you can save on rent. Yeah, but yeah. You'd have no life. But it's you're like social. The movie, but the places circle. for you to socialise. They give. Oh. They, they provide social. Yeah, like. Do you yeah. want to socialise with people you work with? Well, I, I, but I think if you work for Google, <laughs> well, I socialise. I have to socialise with you, don't I? Yeah. But I think if you work for Google, I mean, the the, the kind of people that Google wants to attract mm-hmm. are those people, mm-hmm. and I don't think it really matters to the people at Google whether you're working at midnight. Or whether you're working, you know, at three in the afternoon or nine o'clock. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think the idea of the Google campus is, you know, you're here pretty much twenty four hours a day. Mm-hmm. We don't care when you work; just get your work done, wow. and then for the rest of the time, do whatever you want to do. Wow! As long as you do it here. Yeah, it's a cult, or, isn't yeah, it? It's a cult. Yeah, <laughs> but but again, I I don't think they have like you know designated workspaces where you have to work. So you'd be working in the cafe. You could be working outside yeah, in the park. You're still bench. there, though, aren't you? Yeah. What if you've got a family with kids? That's just not feasible. Would they sack you then and replace you with a single young person? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's the future. Yeah. Yeah. Only single young people can ever get work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, it's a short article, but we particularly like the format. We want you to look at the format because it's a good way that you can have a conversation. If you see the lettering in bold, imagine that's ChatGPT. So go to ChatGPT and say, I want to have a conversation about X, whatever. Yeah. And it'll probably come out something like that, we reckon. Yeah, I mean, it does does look sort of AI, but I think it's been heavily edited. Yeah, but then you could also... uh, while your boss is asking what you're doing, you could say you were having an in-depth conversation or doing some research when really you're doing a little bit of faux activity. No, they're not. They're practicing their English. Oh, okay. Which yeah. is a very productive if thing to, to do. do. Okay. All right. Well, do that then. See you next week. Bye. Thanks for listening. We hope you liked our podcast. And please don't forget to subscribe and stay connected with us. Until next time, goodbye.